we are packing our bags, checking out of our Airbnb, and heading over to Milan. Starbucks Reserve and this place is actually really nice. Right in front of me is a huge machine grinding up all the beans so it actually smells really good too. Whoa. Can I take a picture? That's really interesting. That's Our first and last full day here. We actually had a late start because we were so tired. interior was so good. <laughs> now we're on our way to go to the shopping area. It is quite a bit of a walk so we're probably gonna lime it there. Most likely gonna make a pit stop at a cafe for some coffee though because we haven't had coffee yet.
on the shopping is crazy here I was just on the line for Chanel and first of all it was an hour long wait and also the people in front of me wanted to visit Chanel right before their flight which is literally leaving in like an hour and a half people really love Chanel and they didn't even have anything in stock like everything was sold out so I just left the line Came to our last dinner spot here in Milan and actually our last dinner in all of our Italy trip we chose a spot that was about a five minute walk from our Airbnb because we we're so tired from walking all day but I like this area that we're in it's really busy and lively there's tons of people and it's good vibe it kind of reminds me of Trastevere in Rome <laughs> Hey guys, it's actually been a few months since I came back and I just thought that I would do a quick little haul of everything that I bought in Italy as well as talk about the VAT refund process because I saved so much money while shopping there and I feel like a lot of you will be interested in exactly what I picked up and how much I saved. So starting off from what I bought, I had my eyes on this bag for such a long time and I knew that I wanted to wait for my Italy trip just so I can get the best deal. My first tip is that if you you have a specific bag or design that you are already eyeing and if you think to yourself I don't want to carry it around the rest of the trip I'm just gonna wait until the tail end of my trip to make my purchases I would recommend just purchasing it right then and there if you see it because chances are there are so many people around the world that want to buy luxury goods in Italy because of the VAT refund so if you see the bag that you've been eyeing for such a long time just get it right then and there and that's exactly what I did with this bag. I think it was like day four of my trip and I just stumbled upon a random Gucci store in Rome by the Spanish Steps and I was like I just want to see my bag one more time like I'm gonna get it in Milan which is at the tail end of my trip check it out one more time just for funsies but I realized that the bag that I chose was very high in demand with very low stock. The sales associate actually told me that it's the last one in stock in the Rome location. Had I waited until the last minute to get the bag, I probably wouldn't have been able to buy it because there was literally nothing in stock. So if there is something that you've been wanting, if you see it, buy it. The next thing I picked up was this Gucci garden tote bag. This is exclusive to Florence. Really really high quality and it feels really good when you carry it. Last time I put like two laptops in there, my iPad, my wallet, my cosmetic bag and it was heavy but the straps were so durable that it didn't feel like it was going to rip apart. I also felt like this tote bag was really special because it's exclusive to Florence which is one of my favorite cities in Italy so I knew I wanted to get one. I also got another tote bag from the Gucci Garden in Florence for my sister and this one is a bit of a different design but I still think it's really cute. And the last thing I got for myself was a Celine belt. I've always been eyeing the Celine belt in the skinny version. I just think it's such a classic design and it goes with anything in my wardrobe. I kind of bought it on a whim. I wasn't expecting to buy it but the savings you get is so worth it and I just couldn't pass it up. My husband also visited Montclair and at first he was only going to pick one jacket. Montclair is one of those brands where like quality is so great. The jackets are really lightweight and it's perfect for someone like him who wants something that's fuss free but also keeps you warm in the winter. So he opted for this jacket. I think it's such a good buy. I love the design. It's so warm yet so lightweight and when I saw him buy that I was like I want one too but I didn't get one. <laughs> and while we were browsing the store he actually came across this jacket and he could not pass it up because this design is something that he would wear literally year round. The quality and the material of it is very different but also the design is really pretty. It has sort of like a sheen to it which elevates the entire look. The savings for Montclair were unbelievable. We were both like, is this for real? While I was there, I was texting my sister and she's also a really big fan of Montclair and she was eyeing the Valier Parka. I think the design is really cute with the waist drawstring. She also wanted a pair of the Celine kitten heels. She sent me a picture of it and I asked the sales associate again. It was the last size in stock because it is a quite new and popular design. So luckily they had it in the store in Florence so I just snagged that up and the savings again 
amazing. My friend also really wanted the Gucci card holder for her and her boyfriend so I picked up the black one and the red one. So even if you're looking for smaller accessories slash card holders like this, you can still get really really good savings. I remember texting her the total price afterwards and she was like, is this for one wallet or two? Next, I just want to talk about the process of getting your VAT refund. So first thing is that when you are shopping around, you need your passport with you because the sales associate is going to ask you for your passport if you want your VAT refund. So you give them the passport and then you pay the full price until you get to the airport, which is where you're going to receive the refund. Now, when you're paying at the cash register, they're going to give you an envelope with a form. You need to keep that form and bring it with you to the airport so that the the customs agent can stamp it and then process the refund. So do not throw anything out. Make sure you keep everything with you. And then once you're at the airport, do not check in your bags because you have to go to the customs agent first. And by chance, you might be asked to show the goods that you purchased. So just in case they ask you, just be ready to have those to show. They cannot be used. They cannot show any signs of wear, just FYI. Now, I flew out of Milan, so I can only speak to the Milan airport. And I recommend that you give yourself about three hours before your boarding time, just so that you have enough time and cushion before your flight. In my opinion, I feel like the line was moving a little bit too slow and there were a lot of people in the front that were pretty stressed because they had to make their flight yet they didn't go through check-in or security yet. So just make sure that you give yourself enough time. Once you're there, have all your forms ready to show the customs agent and if you're lucky, they might just stamp it without you needing to show proof of your purchases. We opted for the credit card refund but if you prefer, you can have them mail you a check which is going to take a little bit longer. I think I covered everything, but if you have any more questions that I might have missed, just leave them in the comments. I honestly had a blast shopping in Italy because not only are the prices just generally more cheaper than the US because obviously a lot of these luxury brands are made in Europe, so just the upfront cost itself is going to be a lot cheaper, but the refund that you get is seriously amazing. I'll leave the total amount that we saved, including our purchases and our friends' purchases, family purchases, all on the screen. Thank you guys so much again for following me along on my Italy adventures. It was definitely a trip of a lifetime and I cannot wait to go back. I am going to Paris in August so I'm definitely gonna be vlogging that so my European adventures this year is not over. But until then, I hope you enjoy my New York City content and I will see you guys next week in a new vlog. Bye!